everybody, welcome back around to the Blog and Grill. I'm your host, Doug, here with your video blog for September 30th, 2013. We got college football around the shield and a couple of baseball games that will be coming up as well. But let's get to college football Saturday. The big game in college football was Georgia and LSU. Aaron Murray once again proving he is the big man in Georgia, winning his second game this year against a top 10 opponent. They're now 2-1 and one against top 10 opponents this year. And Aaron Murray played great. He made some big-time passes. And really, both these quarterbacks made big-time passes. Zach Mettenberg. I remember when this guy was little scrawny and had zero arm strength last year. This guy is a top-notch quarterback. Had a big game. Did not turn the ball over. Just could not make enough plays to really counter Aaron Murray. Murray had the big drive late that really convinced me that Aaron Murray is a legitimate quarterback in college football. Finding some big-time wide receivers. And really, the run game was a lot better for Georgia, too. Gurley carried for almost 90 yards in the first half and then went down with an injury. And really, Georgia just was the better team and really the home field advantage, I think, won the game. A great game to watch. Two great quarterbacks and some great wide receiver play as well. The other big game, Wisconsin and Ohio State. Ohio State, Braxton Miller back from his knee injury, and Braxton Miller was out of his mind moving the ball well. He threw the ball better than I've ever seen him throw the ball. Very accurate. Made some good passes thrown on the run. He had the big pass to end the first half on the big deep ball. And that was a big play because um, Wisconsin only trailed by three. They go into halftime down by ten. And they really couldn't come back after that. They got it. To, they only lost by seven. They got it close late. But really the key play right before that, the Wisconsin cornerback dropped the pick. The freshman dropped the pick. He played well in the game, dropped the pick, and really Ohio State's defense was just too much. They really stopped the running game, put it all on Stavi to make some big passes. He did make some big passes, but not enough. Braxton Miller really showed what he had, and Kenny Guyton didn't really have to perform. So Braxton Miller showing what he had. Didn't run a whole lot, but didn't turn the ball over and played great. Ohio State really need to win this game. They don't have a whole lot of big games on their schedule, even though they got another big one this week against Northwestern at Northwestern and that is a big big game and now we'll go to our top five in college football our top two stay the same Alabama takes care of business against Ole Miss Oregon wins big once again and number three is now Ohio State I have them jumping over Stanford just because they had a big win and really Ohio State's not going to climb any further unless the team in front of them slips they will not pass Oregon or Alabama unless they lose they will not be able to pass them Stanford, number four, and Clemson still at number five. Clemson, tough road game this week at the Carrier Dome. Terrell Hunt playing well for the Cuse. That is going to be the game to watch. That game comes on at 3.30. I'll have more on that, though, later on in the week. Probably I'm going to do another blog Wednesday and then another one Saturday morning, likely, or we might throw some college football into the Wednesday blog as well. Also, Wednesday, I'll have my Heisman update for you as well. But it's time to go around the Shield. And we're starting in Atlanta last night. Tom Brady gets it done. The running game gets it done. And New England wins 30-23. Peyton Manning throws his 16th touchdown pass of the year. No picks. Denver all over Philly, 52-20. Washington takes care of business. They get their first win, 24-14 in Oakland. San Diego holds off a late charge. Phillip Rivers throws for over 400 yards. And the Chargers beat the Cowboys 30-21. Geno Smith struggles for the first time really in his career. Tennessee takes care of business. They lose Jake Locker possibly for an extended period of time. Tennessee gets it done 38-13. Joe Flacco throws five picks against the Bills. E.J. Manuel gets it done, and the Bills win 23-20. Cleveland and Brian Hoyer have now won two in a row. Cleveland gets it done against Cincinnati. Andy Dalton underperforms. Cleveland wins 17-6. Detroit rallies late to win the game, 40-32. to Chicago struggles to force turnovers. Dexter McCluster returns a 80-yard punt in the third quarter. Kansas City beats the Giants. Kansas City's 4-0. Giants 0-4. Kansas City 31-7. Roethlisberger fumbles the ball late. Adrian Peterson goes for over 150 yards. And the Vikings win 34-27. Uh, Arizona forces a couple late turnovers. Patrick Peterson picks off two passes from the rookie Mike 
Glennon, and Arizona wins 13 to 10. Andrew Luck and the Colts take care of business in Jacksonville as they win 37 to 3. Trent Richardson has another one-yard touchdown run. Seattle rallies late after a bad pass by Matt Schaub. Richard Sherman takes a 58-yard interception to the house, and the Seahawks go on to win in overtime, 23 to 20. And we all know about the Thursday night game, San Francisco over St. Louis, 35 to 11. Now it's time for our Monday night pick. I picked the last four primetime games accurately, put my win streak on the line tonight. Saints and Dolphins. I got New Orleans winning this game 23 to 10. Drew Brees will have a good game. The Miami defense could stifle him some. I think Tannehill will struggle against this good Saints defense. Lamar Miller will also struggle to move the ball. But I think Drew Brees will do enough. Him and Jimmy Graham will hook up for a touchdown pass. And the Saints will win 23 to 10. Also tonight we have MLB wild card or American League tiebreaker. Tampa Bay and Texas. We got we got David Price going up against Martin Perez. Should be a good game. Um, Nelson, the matchup to watch is definitely Price versus Cruz. Cruz is back in the lineup tonight after his 50-game suspension for using performance-enhancing drugs. He will be the DH tonight for the Rangers in this game. And my pick to win this game, I think, has to be the Tampa Bay Rays. I think they have more bats. Um, even though they're on the road tonight, I think they can get it done. I think Price will step up. Perez could struggle, and I think the Tampa Bay Rays will get it done tonight. And then we also have what um, tomorrow night we have our NL wild card game between the Pirates and the Reds. That should be a good one. Um, looking right now if they've announced starters for this game. Let's see what we got. Wednesday, Pirates. Pirates will throw Liriano, and the Reds will throw Cueto. So that's a big time matchup as well. Good game there. Liriano at home, pitching well. Pirates just came off a big series against them. I think the Pirates will ride that momentum right in to the NLDS against the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, so Wednesday I'll be back. We'll talk AL wild card game. We'll do some division series previews in Major League Baseball as well. I'll also do my Heisman update hand out my NFL awards, and a do a fantasy football update as well. Thanks for tuning in to the Blog and Grill. I'll be back on Wednesday. Always remember, follow me on Twitter at YankeeBaller415. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good one.